Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial for doing a 4K time lapse in Filmora 9. This is a feature that uh, is not included in Filmora 9. Uh, there was a lot of features in Filmora 8 that made this quite uh, a bit simpler, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it and do it pretty well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that now. So right now I took with my Osmo Pocket, I did a motion time lapse. Um, over the New Year's weekend and there's about 600 photos here 601 actually and uh, what I want to do is make that a time-lapse so first thing I'm gonna do is when I come here to Filmora 9 uh, I'm gonna need to go into file project settings and I want to make sure that this is actually set and prepared to do 4k so I'm gonna go ahead and select the 3840, 2160. I'll show you why in a second. Um, and I'm gonna move this up to 2997 frames per second. And click OK. Um, then I need to go back to preferences. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the photo duration uh, down. And this is a big difference between Filmora 8 and Filmora 9. In Filmora 8, you could adjust all the photos to come in to one frame, which of course is a fraction of a second. So if your project was set at 24 frames per second um, and you selected one frame, that's 24 frames within that second. So 1 24th of a second. Um, so what we do is change that from five to one uh, because you cannot edit all of the photos you drop into here at the same time. You'd have to do them one at a time. So the best we can do is one second. Click OK. I'm going to remove this actually. And let's go ahead and take these photos and just drag them into here. All right. For some reason, they stack them this way. So what I'm going to do is just uh, I'm going to view them in a list view and it puts them in more readable order. Let's drop them in here. All right, you can see each of them are a second long. Very good, so when you're looking at this and you got 601 photos, one second each, it's approximately 10 minutes long. So that's not necessarily the desired result, of course, but um, we'll walk through this. So let's go ahead, export this real quick. Okay, the file is exported. Let's close this. Let's go ahead and take all of this out of the, um, the timeline as well. So we don't need that anymore. We don't need all this anymore. Yeah, delete it. All right, and let's go back and I navigate back to here. All right, so we'll go ahead and drag this in here and drag it into our timeline. So like I said, we got a 10 minute video here. And if we preview it real quick, you'll see that uh, each photo is one second. This, is, this obviously isn't the time lapse we're looking for. Uh, but if our project's 29.7 frames per second and there were 601 pictures um, and we changed the photos to be one frame per second like we were able to do in Filmora 8 but we're not able to do in Filmora 9, that would have compressed it down to 20 seconds. So what we're going to do is take this video and we're going to right click and go to speed and duration and we're going to go ahead and change this from 10 minutes to 0 minutes and we're going to change this to 20 seconds. And zero frames. So it's going to be even 20 seconds. Um, 
And that should compress it down to the equivalent of what we used to be able to do in Filmora. All right, so you see it shrink quite a bit. Here we have a 20 second clip. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll export this one real quick. Export 4K 2997. Let's change this to um, final export. All right, there we go, exported. Fantastic, so what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a comparison for you. I'm gonna put them side by side, the 4K video that we just made here with Filmora 9 and compare it to the 1080p version that the Osmo Pocket made for me within the DJI, DJI application. Um, just to give a comparison, they're both 20 seconds long and uh, Hope you enjoyed this and hope this helps. Thanks a lot. Bye.